Hello, my name is Vin. Today we're going to solve a problem from the book Shigley's Mechanical Design, edition 9, chapter 3, question 2. So, from chapter 3, question 2, we have sketch a free body diagram of each element in the figure. Compute the magnitude and direction of each force using an algebraic or vector method as specified. So, first we need to draw a free body diagram of each element, which is the reaction forces, reaction forces, and then compute the magnitude and direction of each force using an algebraic or vector method as specified. So in the image below, you can see that you have two beams, one that is straight, O, A, and C, and another one is O, B, A, A B, okay? that is connected at point A. And then at the end, we have external forces acted on C, 100 LBF. Okay? So how do we draw this free body diagram? Is we divide the body into two, which is the straight part, O, A, and C, and another part A and B. So <clears throat> how do we uh, draw the reaction forces for each of the bodies? At body A, B, at point A, we have uh, reaction forces acted on the x direction and reaction forces acted on the y direction. Why? Because at point A, you cannot move it in the x direction and also you cannot move it downwards in the y direction. As you can see in the original, it's stuck here. You cannot move it here and then you cannot move it here. That's why there is a reaction forces. Then at point B, you have reaction forces on Y direction and also reaction forces on the X direction. So BY and BX, as you can see here, you have reaction forces here and here because you cannot move it. So that's why they reacted to prevent it from moving. Next is the straight beam O, A, and C. So on point O, there is reaction forces on the x direction and there's reaction forces on the y direction, OX and OY respectively. And then at point A, we have reaction forces acted on the y direction and then reaction forces acted on the x direction. What, as you can see here, uh, AY here and AY here is acted on the opposite direction from of these two bodies. And then AX here and AX here is opposite from each of the bodies. You know why? It's because when you combine them, it becomes zero because they are acted on each other. That's why they are opposite. If you want to know more about reaction forces and its detail, I have a video covering about it uh, where you can click on the top uh, right of the video. Okay. Then next is the external forces acted on C, which is 100 LBF. Okay. So, how do we solve this uh, problem is to first find the forces in member uh, O, A, and C. And then after that, we will find members of uh, forces in the members of A, B. So first, we are going to assume acting upwards uh, in the y direction is positive. Okay? So, as you can see here, O, Y is positive. And then AY is positive, but uh, at point C, there's external forces acting downwards, so it's negative 100 equals to 0. So OY plus AY equals to 100. And then after that, we're going to assume uh, forces going to the right in the x direction is equals to zero sorry okay so going to the <coughs> going to the x direction we have ox and also plus ax equals to zero and then going to find the moment for this member oac that is going counterclockwise is positive and then total moment on this member is equals to zero. Okay, so this one we're going to assume it's uh, equation number two, and then this one will assume it's equation number one. So, and uh, for us to find the members of body OAC, it's AY times ten minus one hundred times thirty equals to zero, because at AY. Uh, we assume here is uh, the point of origin. So at AY, uh, at AY, uh, 
times 10 is here, minus 100 is here because the distance from O to C is 30. Okay, that's why we have 30 and also 10. So after that, we're going to solve it and then we got A Y equals to 300 LBF. And then after that, we're going to substitute this value into equation 1. We're going to substitute into equation number 1. We get OY plus 300 equals to 100. So OY equals to negative 200 LBF. Negative 200 LBF in this case, negative means it's, opposite, it's acted on the opposite direction. So meaning, if we assume it's acted on the uh, acted on the y positive direction. So if it's negative, then it's supposed to go downwards. Next is member A, C, um, B. So we're going to assume that going to the y direction upwards is equals to zero and it is positive and so we're going to see here going upwards is positive right so a y should be negative because it acted downwards on the opposite direction and then next is plus b y it's, it's here so you can see here so equals to zero so a y should be equals to b y okay next we're going to assume going to the right is positive for forces in the x direction so as you can see here negative ax plus bx equals to zero so negative ax is here and then positive bx is here so bx equals to ax all is clear then we're going to calculate the moment going counterclockwise is positive at m b equals to zero so our origin point now is at b so it's at here so at here so we're going to calculate the moment for this so by and bx does not exist because it's the distance is zero and we get ax and ay here so a x negative a x 10 plus a y 10 equals to zero because as you can see here when you do the moment if you do like this and as such like this so when we say it's going to count the clockwise is positive here so when you can see here this one a x times 10 because the distance is 10 is negative because it's going to the opposite it goes here instead of here and then next is we have another one will be a y is 10 because from here here to here it's 10 and here to here it's 10 inches and then it's positive because it follows the counterclockwise direction if you want to know more about the uh, more about the moment and its uh, reaction moments you can click on the top uh, right of this video to know more about it so so hence uh, ax will be equals to ay after you solve the mathematical equation so as you can see here ax equals to ay equals to bx equals to by which is nice because once we get one value we got the other values as well so since we have the value for ay which is 300 which is over here we can insert it into here so all of them will be equals to 300 lbf because ay is equal to this this and this so all of them is 300 and then now we're going to insert it into equation number two which is as you can see here So OX plus AX equals to zero. Plus AX, which is 300, equals to zero. So OX equals to negative 300 LPF. 
so now we have the full answer for everything which i will be highlight here 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 and also here so this is the one tick for the whole solution for this problem thank you for watching and we'll see you next time